at 11. Bursting at the seams, that's how full the program director says the Egan Warming Centers have been as people seek shelter from record cold temperatures. Thanks for staying up with us. I'm Jennifer Richardson. And I'm Brian Richardson. The centers are open for their third consecutive night, and organizers say tonight may be the busiest yet. How those cold temperatures are stressing the system is our top story here at 11. The five centers have hosted an estimated 300 people every night since Wednesday. That's about double the number Egan hosted last year. As for keeping up with the increase, organizers say they're not turning anyone away, but they are in need of a new facility, possibly an industrial site. They say if their past is any indication, something or someone will step up. It's been a miracle. Every night we open, it's a miracle and things have come through and it's worked out for us. We didn't expect it to last for two years and here we are in our sixth season. Uh, so we just have faith something is going to work out. Now, organizers say some of the increase in need came from the downsizing over at the mission, but they're investigating where the rest of the people seeking shelter came from. And as those temperatures drop, including the record low of 19 we saw this morning, some over at the homeless camp on Hilliard and Broadway are taking advantage. There are dozens of tents now set up there. We talked to a few who prefer to stay here and utilize the heat of a small barbecue pit fire, but others were on the move tonight seeking the shelter of those warming centers. Because they know everybody there at the church pretty well, the, the volunteers and stuff. But we do have some people who have anxiety and so forth, and we just try to work with them and let somebody who's working there volunteering, you know, put them in the right position where they're comfortable. Why not go to one of the warming shelters right now? That's a handout. We need real help. Now, Pops, who you just heard from, says that real solution would be a permanent place where area homeless could go. For now, he just tries to stay warm and teach others who prefer to remain outdoors how to do the same. And we are going now to Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Yeah, he has more on these record-setting temperatures. Justin, is there any chance for a repeat? Well, Jen, I'll tell you, the good news is I don't think there will be tonight. Tomorrow morning's record low is 18 degrees. Now, as Brian mentioned, we did get to a new record today, 19, which you see there in Eugene, single digits in Bend, and cold as well in Corvallis and Roseburg, all sitting well below freezing. Temperatures outside right now remain on the uh, low side. In fact, we're already quickly into the upper 20s from Corvallis down to Cottage Grove, sitting just below freezing in Roseburg, one of the spots that will get a little foggy. Otherwise, coast is actually still warmer. I'll tell you why that is. And if we can get some of that warmer air pushing in as well and get out of these frigid nights, that's coming up with your full weekend forecast next.